Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we have a very cool unboxing video, and it is an absolute ton of dinosaur figures. I just recently made a purchase on thejenkins.com, which if you know me, I've been promoting that website for many years because it is an absolutely awesome website to find dinosaur figures, but not just dinosaur figures. In general, like modern dinosaur figures, you can find quite a bit of older retired dinosaur figures on there, which is one of the things that I love about DeJenkins is the fact that you can still acquire some of the older figures without paying an arm and a leg. And I picked up quite a few figures that have been here on my kind of want list, my wish list for some time, some stuff that I really wanted to get a hold of, but had not purchased up until this point. And then there was also a ton of figures from another company that I feel like is continuously overlooked because they're actually quite cheap on Jenkins in comparison to most other places that you would find them, which there's not really all that many places, honestly, to find them. But that company is Recur, and there's going to be a mixture of Recur and Favorite Company as far as the figures that I got. So we're going to go ahead and bring each one in, unbox them really quickly here, and take a look at them, and then there's going to be reviews of these probably at some point in the future. So the very first figure I'm going to bring in here is the Apatosaurus from Recur, if that tag would get out of my way. And uh, this is, again, a figure I actually didn't even realize existed, this Apatosaurus, until I was actually going through the website, kind of trying to locate some figures that I knew I really wanted for uh, quite some time and I wanted to get a hold of, and then I spotted this Apatosaurus while I was looking through the Recur figures and thought it looked really cool, so I went ahead and placed an order for this guy as well, just threw him in the cart, and it's actually quite nice looking as far as an Apatosaurus goes, and I really feel like Recur is so underrated. They are just continuously overlooked, and this box full of figures really changed my mind on Recur, which I actually liked them a lot before, but now that I had actually gotten this box and taken a look at a lot of their other figures in person, I really am quite impressed overall by Recur. The next one here is a Brachiosaurus, and this one, of course, being a Brachiosaurus, is quite tall, so we'll have to pick the camera up here to take a look at it. But another really cool-looking Recur figure, one that I did want to get a hold of for quite some time. They actually have an even larger Brachiosaurus figure that I will hopefully acquire at some point in the future. But this one here is definitely a really cool-looking Brachiosaurus. Then there is an Overraptor, and the Overraptor is a really neat-looking figure. This one is actually a very scaly type of an Overraptor, so you can tell it's an older sculpt. It's not anything new, kind of portraying the way we used to look at Overraptor prior to the feathery look. And uh, I think, again, a really cool figure, kind of tearing an egg open, which is a really awesome scene taking place with the Overraptor. Very impressive-looking figure overall. Then we have this one which is the Recur Dimetrodon, and a figure, again, that I really wanted to get a hold of for quite some time. I definitely wanted to get my hands on it, but it's one that I always just continuously put off until now when I was going through the, the Jenkins site, realized that they actually still had the Dimetrodon in stock, so I am a huge Dimetrodon guy, and I always liked the look of this figure as far as the paint scheme and everything goes. I thought it looked really cool, so I definitely wanted to get a hold of it. Very different look, I will say, for a Dimetrodon than most times that you see a Dimetrodon. I actually like the very different look to this figure, which is, I think, one of the things that drew me to it in the first place. And then the figure that, as far as Recur goes, I think I wanted to get my hands on the most is their Majungasaurus, because there are just very few Majungasaurus figures out there, and uh, I actually had seen quite a few images of this version from Recur for a little while, and I knew I wanted to get a hold of it, but Amazon, I don't even know if they have it for sale anymore, so when I saw it there on his website, this is one that was definitely on my want list for quite some time, and I knew I had to pick it up right then. There is also the Quetzalcoatlus from Recur, which is a very tall figure as well. Another really cool looking figure and actually my first Recur Pterosaur. So I was psyched to get a hold of this one. And again, quite impressed overall with a very nice appearance to that. And then we have a really nice feathered Deinonychus, if that tag would stay out of my way. So we've got a feathered Deinonychus from Recur. I don't have, well I didn't have prior to this, too many Recur figures, so it's nice to really get an idea of the different styles, the different figures that they have available, and just really get a good sense of the overall feel of Recur with so many different species. And I think this as well is a pretty cool looking figure. Then we also have 
the Recur Iguanodon, another figure that was definitely on my want list for quite some time. This one is definitely on Amazon, and I've had it on my wish list on there for quite some time, but much cheaper on DeJenkins, so a better deal if you ask me. And again, one I definitely wanted to pick up, really cool looking Iguanodon. Then there is also the Recur Dinosuchus, which a Dinosuchus figure is awesome. If you ask me, any Dinosuchus, not too many of those out there either. And this one as well looks really cool. I love the paint application they've given this one and overall has an extremely cool appearance to it. Definitely a figure I'm quite excited to review for you guys at some point soon. And then there is the largest figure of the box, which is huge and is also a Recur figure. We've got this one, which if you look at the tag and the description of the figure, it says it is a Velocisaurus which I don't think this is meant to actually be a Velocisaurus. I think they were confused because a Velocisaurus does not really look like this. I'm pretty certain this is meant to be a Velociraptor and was just probably mislabeled, but having a very cool kind of like a bald eagle type of a look to the paint scheme and the sculpt, and again, the figure is gigantic, so it is very impressive as far as the size goes. You can see it in my hand. It is gigantic for sure. Really cool looking figure as well, and I was quite excited to get one of those larger recurs as I did not have any of those prior to this. And now for a few of the figures that I know are definitely quite retired, we have the favorite company, Parasaurolophus which is a figure I was super psyched to get, and again, being long discontinued, long retired. The Jenkins comes in handy for sure when it comes to picking up figures like this. Definitely something I was really happy to get a hold of and add to my collection, especially still in the packaging. Then we also have the older version of their Tyrannosaurus Rex. The soft model of their Tyrannosaurus Rex as well looks extremely, extremely nice. So another awesome figure, especially again in packaging with these being as long discontinued as they are. It's probably pretty hard nowadays to find them in their packaging. So thank you to Jenkins for being awesome and still having some in stock. And then we also have the favorite company, Allosaurus, which was another figure I've been kind of eyeing up for years and really wanted to get my hands on. So... Definitely something I welcome with open arms into my collection. And the final figure that I acquired from DeJenkins is the favorite company, Spinosaurus. Another very cool vintage looking, I guess you could say at this point, because this exact sculpt as far as being almost a Jurassic Park 3 type of a look uh, is definitely long gone at this point, but still a really cool looking Spinosaurus. I always liked the sculpt of this and the paint job. And it was another figure I really, really wanted to get a hold of. So a gigantic lot of dinosaurs that I just purchased from DeJenkins. So thank you to DeJenkins for being absolutely amazing. As always, I want you guys to go ahead, check their website out. Again, I really try to stress to people, if you are looking for dinosaur figures, older ones and everything like that, check DeJenkins because there is a pretty good chance that at some point they may have it in stock as he does tend to get some really cool older retired figures in stock and uh, still currently has quite a few older retired figures in stock. So make sure you check that website. Go buy yourself some amazing dinosaur figures from there. And make sure that you also comment down in the description which of these figures you would like to see reviews on. I may review all. I don't know quite yet. It depends on what you guys want to see. So make sure you let me know in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.